Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is unit one, lesson five, finding the formula for area of parallelograms. The objective states I can write and explain the formula for the area of a parallelogram. We're looking at activity 5.3, finding the formula for the area of parallelograms. For each parallelogram, identify a base and a corresponding height and record their lengths in the table that follows. Find the area and record it in the rightmost column. In the last row, write an expression using B and H for the area of any parallelogram. So A is pretty straightforward. Uh, for Remember, for a base and uh, height, they must have a corresponding uh, relationship. No, not corresponding. They must have a perpendicular relationship, which means that when they intersect, they form a 90-degree angle or a square angle. So for A, we could label any of the sides our base, and one of the perpendicular sides could be our height. So for A, I just happen to choose this one at the top that goes across, and that has four units of measurement. And then for the height, it's one, two, three, four, five, six units high. And so then that means that the total number of squares inside of here would be four times six, or 24 square units. B is a parallelogram that's not a rectangle, but I could cut off this piece right here and move it over here. And in that case, I just created a rectangle out of e exactly the parts that were there before. And so I could label this as the base, and this side right here is the height, and the base is one, two, three, four, five units, and the height is three units. So then the total number of squares, even though it's been shifted as a parallelogram, would still be 15 squares. There'd be 15 squares inside of that shape. I could do the same th kind of thing with C and D. Again, with D, I could label this as my base. I could cut off this triangle right here and move it to this other side. And so then that, that cut that I just made could be my height. And my base in this case is one, two, three, four and my height is two. For a total number of squares inside that parallelogram is eight. So you'll notice each time I took the base and I multiplied it by the height to get base times height or the area of that parallelogram. So the area, the formula for the area of a parallelogram can be found by substituting the base of the parallelogram and the height of the parallelogram and multiplying those together. So any parallelogram, even if it's not a rectangle, its area can be calculated by multiplying its base by its perpendicular height. Again, the objective says I can write and explain the formula for the area of a parallelogram. Thanks for watching.